Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to link your program to your database so that you can make use of SQL for your PAT. Some grade 11s might have learned SQL already, those who have followed my books, but this is definitely also for the grade 12 learners. If you want to follow the steps while I'm explaining, you first need to create your form. So just remember it's File, New, and then Windows VCL if you're using Delphi 10 or 11. But for Delphi 2010, I just think it says VCL. Remember then to go File, Save All, and take note of where you're saving, making sure you're saving in a folder. Then I have added... I'm going to show you guys that one in another video, how to link to make use of those add tables. But maybe for your pet, it's always a good idea to have different tab sheets. On the tab sheets, then add two DB grids. I have called mine DBG parent and DBG child. Make sure you save it. Now you want to run your program to follow the next steps. Once you run your program and it created a folder Win32, that means you're using Delphi 10 or 11, your database needs to go inside of this folder, inside of the debug folder, and place it there. This is also where you would put your text file or other pictures if you're going to load pictures making use of pictures.load from file. There is a way around this, but I'm not going to show you that today. Else, if you don't have that folder, you will just place it right there in the same folder where the program has been saved. You can link your database through a data module in my book 2, the red one. You will see I explain it that way in the appendix at the back. But it's simpler to just add it to your form, so that's the way I'm going to show you today. In your palette, which would be halfway down, I just unpinned my... Um, the project view so you won't see that and I'll have to unpin it again and there you can search for Addo so find the Addo connection you need one in your program that will be shared through the Addo queries that we'll add and the Addo table so you don't need more than one and name this CON is the prefix but name it according to what is stored in the database so my is about astronauts as well as shuttles i'm just going to call mine astro for now now what we need to do is go into our object inspector and the first thing you want to do is go to your connection string quite a few steps here i'll go slow click on the three dots click on build now, if you watched my phase one database video, you would see that I saved it as a .mdb because it makes it easier to connect to your database. For this reason, I'm using the JET 4.0. You can double click on it. Now the three dots again and navigate to your folder. I'm in the wrong place now. Um, this should be going to my YouTube channel, videos, linking. And now if you have the Win32 folder, you'll select your database from it there. I've made some changes, so I'm going to select mine from here. But select your database. You will see that the whole path is added. You want to delete that path all the way so that you are left with only the name of the database. This will ensure that when you move your pet over to the school computer or your teacher's computer or the moderator's computer, that it will still connect and it won't look for the path on your home computer. Important is to click on test connection and it should say that it succeeded. If you didn't, I suggest you cancel everything and try again. Then go to advanced and here we want to make changes to our database as well as read from it. So I'm going to select read write and untick share deny none and then click OK and OK again. One step that people often forget is you have to untick the logging prompt so that it is false. 
The next object we're going to search for, also search for Ado, but this time we for SQL we add an Ado query. And we're going to add it to our form. And this one is going to link to my parent table. It's called TBL Shuttles. So I'm going to call it QRY Shuttles. In here you will see that the connection there is red. And that's all you need to change for your query. Just click on the drop down menu, select your addo connection. The next object we need to add is our data source. And the prefix there is DSR and name it the same as you named your query you just created because they will be linked together. These are shuttles and in there also in red the data set all you have to do is select the query. Now the data source allows us to display what our query ran in a DB grid or even a DB edit as in one of my other examples. So click on the DB grid where you want that table to display and select from there your data source DSR. It's almost like a host pipe where the information that's queried here is transferred all the way to see the output there on your DB grid. Remember that in SQL we can determine which table to show in a DB grid according to what we put in the from. So we have select from and then the name of the table. So you only really need one DB grid, but I just find that with a path, you often don't want to show the same output in more than one DB grid. So that is why I created two. So I'm going to go very quickly through the next steps. We already have our Addo connection. In a program, whether you're using SQL or Addo tables, you just need one Addo connection. So all you need to add here is another Addo query. And this I'm going to call Query Astro. Ooh, with a capital letter there, but that's okay for today. And I need to select, remember from the query, you need to just select your connection. Then I'm going to add another data source and I'm going to call it the same name so that I don't get confused what I'm using where. And from here in the red there, you need to select. Now you have two. So you need to select the correct one. I'm going to select Addo Astro. And when I click then on the DB grid here, we I want it to display, I can now select my data source. And again, I have to, but I'm going to select DSR Astro. Now with Addo tables, you would, with a couple of other steps, you will actually see the data in here. But with uh, Addo queries, where we're going to use SQL, we first need to write some code. It's a good idea to have something displayed in your DB grids when your program starts. So that's why I'm clicking here on the form and then on events, I'm going to go to on activate and here I'm going to start my query. So let's say QRY shuttles dot SQL SQL dot text and I'm going to say just to select all from TBL shuttles. Ooh, wrong word. Uh, you could even include your order by here yeah, for your pad. So you could order by something there. And important now is if I run this, nothing will happen. I have to say for my selects, I have to say QRY shuttles. Make sure those two are the same. Dot open. If you run your program now, you will see that in your DB grid for shuttles, eventually when it displays, you will see the table TBL shuttles. And I have an error. I think it is good that I got this error because you need to learn how to read these errors. It says that this input table or query, but it is a table, TBL shuttles are incorrect. So we must make sure it's spelled correctly. Now, in the past, some of the past papers used TB shuttles or TB as the prefix. 
but for your path it should be TBL. So some of my activities, this is from an activity from my book, I use the different forms that has been used throughout the years to name the tables. Let's click on break and see what happens. Oh no, we don't know what's going on there. So we just click on stop and we can close this. And now we can go and have a look at what is the name of the table. I've opened the table here for you. And as you can see there, it's actually called TB Shuttles. So when you're using SQL, you have to use the name of the tables as it is spelled in your database. But make sure for your pet that your tables are called TBL shuttles or TBL astro. So I'm going to go back in my code. I'm just going to change that to TB shuttles as oh, again. And we can run that again. Hopefully this won't take so long. Maybe the previous time it took so long because it couldn't find the table. Or maybe it's just my computer that's really slow. But there it is, it is displaying that table. You can now do the same thing for the uh, query, what did we call it, uh, query astro. So uh, let's show you guys a little cute trick. If you select code, you'll see there's these little, I think it is uh, pens. That's what I see. I don't know what it actually is, but it looks like pens to me. If you click on that, on your selected code, I change this to QRY Astro. It's going to change for the selected code everywhere where it had QRY shuttles. It's going to add, change it to what I typed this. I changed it both to QRY Astro. It actually helps quite a bit. If you want to get out of here, you just click there and you're out of it and you can code as normally so there i'm going to add astros before we run it yeah astro singular now we can run it and at this point we should see both of our tables being displayed in the db grid hopefully you were successful if you were not start the video again and then watch it step by step and make sure that you have clicked on every single little thing that I showed you in this video. At the back of my Dandelion Delphi Book 2 in an appendix, you will find the same steps that I just explained. Grade 11s and 12s, I hope this helped you and good luck with your pet. Hope to see you soon.